Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at City of Colorado Springs Municipal from the flight deck. City of Colorado Springs Municipal is a large multi-use airport located on the eastern edge of the City of Colorado Springs, Colorado. It has associated Class Charlie airspace that pilots need to understand before they arrive. Traffic consists of everything from pre-solo training aircraft up through air carrier and heavy military transports, including USFS firefighting tankers. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes COS an interesting and challenging place to fly. Add to this the high airport elevation and the front range of the Rocky Mountains to the west, and it is easy to see why extra awareness and thorough flight planning, including in-depth review of the airport diagram, is imperative especially for the first-time visitor. The airport configuration consists of a set of widely spaced parallel runways, 1-7 right and left, 3-5 right and left, and a smaller runway in between the parallels that does not intersect, runway 1331. The taxiway system provides access to the air carrier terminal located south of runway 1331 between the parallels, the military ramps located north of runway 1331 between the parallels, and also the general aviation services and facilities located west of runway 17 right, 35 left. Full length parallel taxiways are located alongside all runways. As with any airport with parallel runways, the risk of wrong surface landings and departures does exist. At COS, the predominant wrong surface landing risk concerns runway 17 right, 35 left, and parallel taxiway alpha. This may occur for several reasons. Pilots may become confused since 17 right, 35 left is flanked by both taxiways alpha and charlie, and runway 17 left, 35 right is over a mile to the east. In addition, taxiway alpha and runway 17 right 35 left are both darker asphalt, and taxiway charlie is lighter concrete. One mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or GPS waypoint aligned with the runway on which you are landing. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, refer to the operator's manual for the equipment in your aircraft. This can help ensure you are on the appropriate runway final. Pilots please note, the tower utilizes the airspace between the parallel runways to conduct traffic pattern operations. This practice allows controllers to maneuver pattern traffic to expedite itinerant operations, to avoid wake turbulence, and to avoid conflicts with arrival and departure traffic assigned runway 1331. Recommended pilot actions include 1. Turn crosswind to fly directly over the terminal building on the downwind leg. Two. Align your aircraft to fly downwind directly over taxiway November. This allows enough spacing between your aircraft and both runway center lines. And three, be prepared to be cleared for either of the parallel runways. In this downwind configuration, your aircraft is in position to receive a clearance for either runway 17 left 35 right or runway 17 right 35 left. For more information on this procedure, please check the NOTAMs associated with the airport, which can be found on the FAA's NOTAM website. Another risk associated with airport layout can be found at hotspot number 1. Located at the approach ends of runway 17 right, runway 13, taxiway Alpha 1, and Bravo 1. There are several issues that pilots need to be aware of at this location. The proximity of the runway ends makes this area a wrong surface landing or departure risk. Verify your heading on final with your assigned runway. They should match. When taxiing for departure, be aware that the hold short lines for runway 17 right and runway 13 are co-located on taxiway Alpha 1 or taxiway Bravo 1. There is no room to hold between the runways. When crossing runway 17 right and runway 13, it may be difficult to see Alpha 1 from Bravo 1. The use of a moving map display or airport diagram is highly recommended. At COS, due to airport elevation, the hold short lines are located approximately 60 feet further away from the runway than pilots would find at sea level. These unexpected locations can cause confusion and inadvertent runway incursions. This is another potential hazard found at hotspot number one. 
Understand your complete taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions prior to moving the aircraft. If you are unclear about any instruction, stop and ask the tower. While taxiing, defer heads down tasks until stopped at the hold short location. Continue while scanning outside the aircraft for taxiway markings and above ground signage will go a long way in avoiding these kinds of errors. Pilots landing runway 17 right 35 left are reminded that they are not considered clear of the runway until the entire aircraft is across the hold short line. In the case of Taxiway Alpha, this means your aircraft may be on Taxiway Alpha before you contact ground control. The tower is aware of this and plans accordingly. Hotspot number two is located at the intersection of Taxiways Alpha 4, Golf, and Runway 17 right 35 left. It is a high volume crossing point and pilots need to pay close attention to tower instructions in the area. Hotspot number three is the intersection of taxiways Echo 4, Golf, Hotel, Bravo, and Echo. Although not a typical taxi route for general aviation aircraft, it is a large area of concrete with several taxiways converging. If you find yourself in the area, be aware of the wrong taxiway possibility. Again, a moving map or airport diagram can help in this situation. Hotspots number four are found at the approach ends of runway 35 left and right. They are a long way from the control tower and can be hard for the controller to see. Precise position reports and close attention to the frequency will help the tower with this issue. One last item at COS concerns run-up areas. There is only one run-up area on the airport. It is located at the north end of Taxiway Alpha. Aircraft departing any runway besides runway 17 right or runway 13 should conduct their run-up prior to taxi. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at KCOS will help pilots make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the city of Colorado Springs Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.